Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna explore um, yet another new node inside SphereChalk add-on. So this was added by one of SphereChalk developer recently, and it's called uh, the Bricks Grid. So this one will actually come in handy, and this is actually very similar to Hexagrid. Um, if I give like a quick comparison, I'm gonna save it as brick and 001. So if you wanna see the result of this really quick, normally I just right click and then connect it to viewer draw nodes. So this will give a result right away. And you can see uh, exactly what this is doing. And really you can play around uh, with the value here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, same with this guy actually, Hexagrid. At first, at a glance, they are kind of really similar. Um, if they are kind of overlapping, let me give it a different color. We can use the this matrix. They're like a transform, so you just plug it with a matrix in and just move it in locations. Oh, this guy is actually quite interesting. Uh, this guy is quite interesting that you can randomize the, the position very quickly. It's, uh, it's actually in a, in a different level. Um, random vector. Yeah, I think this one is quite special actually. But if you actually, you can, you can join them and it's become a single object again. So now you can just simply move it to the side something like that oops so yeah while the this one is uh, centered by default um, this one still uh, it's kind of like a fit it fits at the zero and one uh, kind of normalized space so you can Anyway, you can really just play around with these uh, parameters. The two things, see, with a slight uh, parameter change, this one becomes like a hexagonal. Although with the hexagon, it has a, a couple of uh, very interesting different arrangement. So that's hexagrid, but we just focus on this uh, brick grid. So the two things, and you can randomize the two things slightly. So that's kind of cool. Any kind of way to give randomizations. And the random U, random V also is interesting. Suddenly you get something that looks like a, a little bit like a Voronoi. Randomize the Z, very, very interesting. Uh, there's this option cycle U and cycle V, which is a slightly kind of a mystery. I don't know what that does yet. I'll take a look. Maybe in next live noting, um, there is uh, these options like uh, stitch and flat. The center doesn't work right away, so that's also something that uh, needs investigations. But the, with the flat uh, brick grid like this, you can easily uh, just extrude using extrude separate faces. Plug this guy and just increase the height, scale it a little bit and turn this off right click connect it to another viewer draw and suddenly we have something that can be like a wall this can be interesting as well because you can you can randomize the height if i'm not wrong just randomize uh, use a random number generator plug this into the height make like 100 and then and then just give a random extrude a value maybe 200 so yeah you can see this can be quite interesting suddenly you have like a, some kind of environment or it could be just like a brick wall uh, let's give it a bit of ambient occlusion there randomize the seed so again you see you have this you can bake it you can randomize the seed, bake it, 
randomize the seed and then bake it out so now suddenly you have this uh, a couple of different procedural uh, structure here it's like almost like a city uh, it's not really but uh, can be the basis for that because you can always um, separate the faces and then you know just delete randomly delete some of the faces and you get a more interesting result I guess so that's just a quick and basic look at the bricks um, brick nodes in Spreadshop very very interesting and very very useful of course bricks you use it all the time and yeah hopefully you can use this for something uh, for your own works uh, yeah so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time bye